Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to get notified on WhatsApp for new GitHub issues. I warned that whenever a new issue is raised by a team member on GitHub, which is an amazing platform for software development, automatically a WhatsApp notification should get received by the admin. So how we are going to do this process automatically and effortlessly? For that we will have to integrate GitHub with WhatsApp. And because they do not have any kind of native integration between them, therefore we are going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration platform. Now what we are going to do, we have GitHub in our trigger and in action we can take any application through which we want to send a template message such as Interact or AI Sensei. And now we are going to connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new issue will be raised by a team member on GitHub, automatically the admin will get notification on WhatsApp. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn to create an automation that whenever a new issue will be raised by a team member in GitHub, automatically a WhatsApp message will be received to the admin related to the same issue. Okay, so in order to send the WhatsApp template message, I am going to use Interact. You can use any other application such as AI Sensei or Cloud API in order to send the WhatsApp template message. Okay, now in order to create this automation, we will have to integrate GitHub with Interact. And for that, we are going to use Fably Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. This is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach on this home page, we can find two options here, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account. And also with the creation of your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software. Okay, now because I'm already an existing user, therefore I'm clicking on sign in. And this is the all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. Now to create this workflow, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create multiple folders here on the dashboard in order to save the workflows. So as you can find that I have two folders here. In this test integration folders, I have saved a lot of workflows. Okay, so in the same manner, you can save your workflows in your folders. Now, in order to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. So let's click on it. And now our dialog box is appeared in front of us. So it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So let us first of all give a name. So I have given the name as receive WhatsApp notification for new GitHub issue. Okay, you can give any name to your workflows according to your choice. Now after giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save this workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select the folder as test integration as I want to save this workflow in this particular folder. After selecting the folder, we have to click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are these trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. So whatever we will select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow the same. We can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Okay, now let's understand the concept of trigger and action with the example of this workflow. Here we are going to take GitHub in our trigger and interact in our action. And we want that as soon as a new issue will be raised in GitHub by a team member, automatically a WhatsApp message should be received to the admin with the help of interact. Okay, so this was the concept of trigger and action. Now let's start creating this workflow. First of all, we will select our trigger application, which is GitHub. So let's select it. And now we will select the trigger event. So in the trigger event, we will select issue comments. It triggers when a new issue comment is created. So we want that whenever a new issue comment will be created by a team member in GitHub, then the response should be captured here in Pabli Connect and the workflow should get triggered. Okay, so let's select trigger event. And now we have to click on connect. Now from the given options, I am going to click on add new connection to create a new connection with GitHub. If you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. After clicking on add new connection, we have to click on connect with GitHub. And now Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our GitHub account. So let's click on authorize Pabli. 
and since i was already logged into my github account the authorization has become successful very easily okay so you also have to keep in mind always to keep log into your github account before making up a connection with pabbly connect as it makes the connection simple and easier now let's move on and here it is asking us to select the owner which is already selected over here now the next is repository so here in the github account i have three repositories and i want to select this pabcon repository here in pabbly connect so basically by selecting the repository we want that whenever a new issue will be raised in this particular repository then only the response should be captured here in public connects okay so we have selected the repository now i will take you to my github account and here we will go on this pabcon repository let's suppose i am the admin of this repository and i have given the access to my team members okay so let's go on settings and here by clicking on collaborators we can find the team members who have the access of this repository so whenever these team members are going to create an issue then we are going to receive the response in public connect so basically here we are going to create an automation that whenever a team member is going to create an issue in github automatically a whatsapp notification should receive to the admin related to the same issue okay so let's go back on public connect and now we will click on save and send test trip and here it is showing waiting for response that means now we have to do a test submission so that the response could be captured here so how we are going to do that i am going to do a test submission by creating a new issue with one of the users id so i am going to log in this users id in a new incognito window and then i am going to create an issue with this id okay so let's do that so i have logged in with the users id and now we are going to create a new issue with this id okay and this issue is going to be created by the users id in this pabcon repository okay so we will click on new issue and now here it is asking us for the title of the issue so let's say i am going to enter the title as new test issue okay so this is the title and now we have to click on submit new issue and here we have to leave a comment so that an issue comment could be created so i am going to write the comment as this is a test issue just a random comment okay click on comment and our comment is added now let's go back on public connect and here we can find that we have received the response and the sender of this response is user so we have received the response from the sender a user that means a team member has raised this issue so we have received the response now what is our next step our next step is that we want that whenever an issue will be raised by the team member in github we want to receive the notification of the same that means a whatsapp notification should be sent to the admin for the same issue okay so here i am going to use interact in order to send that template message you can use any other application also so because i am using interact i am going to select interact in my action application so let's select interact here and now we have to select the action event so what will be our action event here we want to receive the whatsapp notification in the form of template message so we will select the action event as send whatsapp template message let's click on it and we will click on connect now if you already have an existing connection with interact you can also go with that but here i am going to create a new connection by clicking on add new connection button and now as we have clicked on add new connection we have to enter a secret key from where we are going to find that secret key for that we have to go on the settings sections in our interact account and under developer settings we will find our secret key we can also go there with the help of this hyperlink so let's click on it and it has directly taken me towards the developer settings now here we can find our secret key is given so let's just copy it and we will simply paste it over here done click on save and our interact account is connected with pabbly connect let's move on and here we have to enter the details first of all it is asking us for the country code and the phone number so here we have to enter the phone number on which we want to send the whatsapp template message so basically here the phone number of admin will come so if you have received the phone number along with the country code then you have to use this full phone number field but if you have not received the phone number along with the country code from your response then you have to use these two fields that is you have to enter the country code separately and then you have to enter the phone number so we have not received the phone number from our response so from github we have not received any phone number in the response so basically we are simply going to enter it manually in this full phone number field so i'm going to enter the phone number along with the country code 
Okay, so I have entered the phone number and now here in this case because we only want to send the WhatsApp message on one phone number that is to the admin, therefore we have entered it manually. But in case if you want to change the phone number with every new response, then we can use mapping here. So whenever we type anything manually, it will become static here and it is not going to change with every new response. But whenever we will map the data from our previous response, then that data will get changed with every new response. So here I want to use one phone number only in order to send the whatsapp message therefore i have entered it manually okay now let's move on and the next is template code name so what is this template code name in order to understand that let me take you to my interact account and here after coming on the account we have to go on the template section from the left side after coming on templates we can find the option of active and here we can find several templates now this is the template which i have created which is named as github issues in order to send the whatsapp template message to the admin so it is approved let's open it and i will show you so the name of the template is github issues and the category is utility and i have selected the language of this template as english okay you can also select any other language if you want i have kept the header as none if you want you can also add text, image, video or document in the header of this message by selecting any of the given options. Okay. The next is the body. So this is the body of the message which I want to send. Okay. It has the content as a new issue is raised by team issue first variable and description second variable. Please look into this. Thank you. So here in the place of variables, the title of the issue and the description of the issue are going to come. So in order to customize this template, we use variables so that in the place of these variables, the different values could come. So whenever a new issue will be raised by a team member and the response is going to be captured in Pabli Connect, automatically in the place of first variable and the second variable, new values are going to come. So with every new message, a new issue and the new description will come. Okay, so in this way, we can customize our message, whatever we want to send by using variables. So you can add as much variables you want by clicking on this add variable button. Okay, and then you also have to provide the sample values for each of the variable while creating the template. Okay, after this, if you want, you can also add a footer line with this message, but I have not used that. And also you can attach a call to action button or a quick replies button along with the message. Okay, after creating the template, you have to send it for approval and once it will get approved, then you can use it to send the template messages. Okay, so as you can find that my template is approved. So now I am going to use it in order to send the WhatsApp template message. Let's go back on Pabli Connect and here we have to enter the template code name. So we will simply open the template and we will go towards the URL of the template. By looking on this URL, we can find that the name of the template is given over here. So this is the template code name, which we have to copy and paste in Pabli Connect. Okay, so in the field of template code name, I'm going to paste that code. Okay, and the next is language code. So because I have used English language for the template, it is given that if you have used English language, then this is the code. So I will simply copy it and paste it over here. But in case if you have used any other language, then you can go on this hyperlink and here you will find all the codes for different languages. So from here, you can simply copy the code and paste it in Pabli Connect. Okay, now let's move on and here the next is header value. So because I have kept the header as none, I am going to ignore this field. If you have, if you have used header in the form of image, video, document, then you have to enter the URL of the same here in this field. Okay, the next is body variables. So this is very important field. And here we have to enter the values of our variables which we want to use in the template. And it is given that if you want to enter more than one value, then you have to use a comma and a space. So because I have used two variables in my template, I am going to enter the values for each of them by using a comma and space. Okay, so in my first variable, I want the title of the issue and in my second variable, I want the description of the issue and here we have received all the details from the GitHub issue and here we have received all the details of the issue from GitHub response. So we are going to use the same response here in order to map the details. So mapping is very easy step. We just have to select our previous step like this and here are all the details given. So first of all, I want to map the title. So I will search for the title over here and the title is here, new test issue. So I will simply select it and it is mapped. Now I will use a comma and a space and then I will enter the value for another variable. In second variable, I want description. So I am going to search the description with the help of hint. So here the description is this is a test issue. So this is the description of the issue. We will simply select it and it is mapped. 
Now because we have mapped the data in this field, every time a new response will be captured from GitHub, automatically the data in this field is going to be changed according to that new response. That means in the place of issue title, a new title will come and in the place of comment body, a new description will come. Okay, so in this way mapping helps us to automate the entire process without doing anything manually and when we will map the data, automatically whenever this workflow will run in real time, the data is going to be replaced with the new details. But if we will enter it manually, then it will become static and it is not going to change with every new response. Then the workflow will get stuck. Okay, so wherever we want that the data should replace along with the new response, there we use mapping. And when we want that the data should remain same, then we use static mapping. That is, there we type the data manually. Okay, so now let's move further. And if you have used call to action button in your template, then you have to use these two fields also. But because I have not used that, I am simply ignoring it. Okay, so after entering all the details, let's simply click on save and send test request. And we can find that we have received the response. So along with the response, we have also received the ID of the message. That means this message has been received. So let's go and check on WhatsApp. And yes, here we can find that we have received a message. A new issue is raised by the team. The issue and the description is given over here. Please look into this. Thanks. So because we have received the message, that means we have successfully created an integration between GitHub and Interact. And now whenever a new issue will be raised by the team member in GitHub, automatically a message will be received to the admin for the same issue on WhatsApp. Okay. So so in the same manner, you can create this automation very easily by following the same steps. So this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pably Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pably.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pably Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.